Peter, how are you? I'm doing awesome. I uh, I did spend some time with Rogers, and I feel like we can do a deep dive on that, Dan. It was quite a day. Okay. What were you expecting, and then what was the end result? Yeah, you've been in this seat before countless times. We've got the, the agreed-upon sit-down interview ahead of time, and you start formulating the questions. This wasn't that. I didn't know if Rogers was going to sit with me or not. The hope was I would go to Jets camp, and we would link up beforehand, and he and I would make eye contact, and he would do me a solid and, and do this interview for NFL Plus and NFL Network. Um, practice was great. It was awesome. It's on the heels of the Sean Payton quote, quotes, but it's also on the heels of him giving back the $35 million. So there's things to talk about. As he's walking off set or walking off the field after a great practice, we give that look, and I kind of have the two chairs and one two microphones, and I'm like waving him over, and he's nodding, and the Jets have a great PR guy, Eric Gelfand, and he's looking at me, and he's giving me the thumbs up, like, you're good to go. And out of nowhere, and I bet, I'm going to watch tonight and see if he's got six hours of content. Jason Garrett, the former Cowboys coach and former Giants uh, offensive coordinator and Giants quarterback, and Cowboys quarterback, appears. I mean, he could have been appearing from, from Mars. He appears and walks right in front and starts talking to Rodgers off camera, off mic, and it's five minutes, and it's 10 minutes. And it's 15 minutes. And I know these quarterbacks. Every minute is scheduled in their day. It's like, if I'm going to do an interview, I got to get my massage. I got to work out. I've got to do this meeting. And and Garrett, I mean, Garrett, I, I like his work on NBC. I hope tonight they have a four-hour special with Jason Garrett about what the <laughs> heck he talked about with Aaron Rodgers off camera. Because this thing almost didn't happen. So they finish up. They dap it up. Total respect. Obviously, they had battles. And I'm half kidding here. I'm sure Garrett's going to be great with whatever he relays for that conversation. <laughs> then Tim Boyle, who's the second, third, maybe fourth string quarterback for the Jets, was with Rodgers in Green Bay. He slides <laughs> His whole family's there, including grandma. <laughs> and they need to meet Rodgers. And Aaron is gracious with his time. So I'm looking at my producer, Christine Martin. I'm looking at her. I'm like, you know what? It might not happen. Hopefully we'll get Sala or Sauce or someone else, but the entire rest of the field has cleared out by this point. It's just Rogers and the Boyle family. And I'm like, this is, we got to get this. Rogers finishes up, looks at me, smiles. He actually apologized. Like, I'm sorry about all that. I'm like, dude, you're Aaron Rogers. If you're going to give me the time, we're good. Um, we went 15 minutes and I started off and, you know, you do these interviews and you get guys to talk. I, I'd like to say this was, I was channeling some of your, your craftsmanship with this. It's like, we didn't start off with, so what did Sean Payton, you know, what, what do you think of Sean Payton's comments? What we started off with was, have you seen Oppenheimer? Ha, uh, you know, what is going on in New York City? What have you done that's been cool? It's like, I saw the Back to the Future musical, which was in pre-show. Like, we did that. Then we eased into what's it like with these guys. And then I didn't say, what's, you know, what's your reaction to Sean Payton? I said, we know what Sean Payton has said. We also know you are Nathaniel Hackett's biggest supporter. Why don't you let the viewers know about your thoughts on Hackett? And then he went on, wow, he's a family man and you know all that stuff. He's a great coach. And then, and then it's like, all right, he got him going. And he's like, you know what? Hell, I'm going to stick up for my guy. And that's when he said, keep my coaches out of your mouth. And that was the quote of the weekend. And uh, we had a, more of an interview after that. But after the fact, I was like, all right, Roger said, thank you. We don't, we don't text. I don't have a relationship with Rogers like that. We've always been respectful, whatever. Um, but that's how it came to be. And he couldn't have been more gracious with his time. And I think if, if it wasn't me, it would have been at the podium and it would have been with you or it would have been with anyone else. But I just happened to get him at the right place, right time. And that's he wanted to get that message out there. He has said that he is planning on playing a few more years. And then we discussed what does a few mean? Few is more than two. And then I asked Peter King, I said, I'll give you the over under two and a half years. He took the over. What's your thought on Aaron Rodgers in New York? Over under take, two and a half. I would take the over as well. Oh. I, I think he's really happy. And I think that's so trite. Like Russell Wilson was really happy in Denver at this time last year. Like I know he's really happy. And Stafford was the same way. And Brady was the same way. You get to these new locations and it's this new chapter in your life. But I think he's really connected with these folks. And it's not just, hey, new code. Hackett's his boy. Like when they went out to Malibu, the Jets, for that, you know, the entire front office and the code, he and Hackett were like the connection. And then Hackett and Sala and and the president and the owners, that was all good. But like it was Hackett and Rogers. And, you know, you bring in Lazard, you bring in Billy Turner, you bring in Randall Cobb. 
The Jets have gone above and beyond to bring in his people. He's going to be running his offense. And I think he's really digging living in the New York market. So I'm going to say over giving back that money almost guarantees two years. And I think if he's having fun, he's in great physical shape. And I don't think he needs to rush to do anything else. I, I think I think the over on that one. 